Hi everyone, welcome to this morning's Facebook Live. Um, I'm gonna make a gorilla this morning. I think a few of you voted on it last time. Richard did some options, I can't remember what were the options. Crocodile, gorilla, Tasmanian devil, and there was a fourth one. What's that, I can't remember. Oh, anyway, that, I've gone with gorilla. I can't remember if actually most of you went for gorilla or not, but I decided I felt like doing a gorilla this morning. I felt like it was gonna be easier. Oh. I'm, just checking, I'm just checking the audio is working. It really puts me off when I can hear myself 30 seconds later repeating it. Um, hopefully you guys can all hear me today because I know a few times we've had issues with the sound. I think have you bought a new connection thing to put in there? Yeah. To put the speaker into the iPad or something. That's way too technical for me. But hopefully you'll be able to hear me. So we're going to make a gorilla. Right, on to the other It doesn't have to be miserable like this one. I just was just wanted to see what it looked like with the set mouth. Also, you don't have to have a monobrow. I just I didn't stick it on. It was just to show you that like you can change what things look like with their uh, monobrow or eyebrows. So I haven't stuck it down because I can't decide what's best. Um, I think he, I think he looks good. Also, you know, you don't have to have a sad face. I was just, just playing around with different it. ones. Classic. Cheery looks nice enough. I should have really cut my nails, so I found it really difficult to smooth things this morning because my nails are just stabbing them in the face. I really should have cut them. I meant to do it last night, and um, I completely forgot. Which, so. which face do you prefer of those two? Bring it back into the camera again. Mm. Which one do you think? I like the happy one. This one yeah. looked oh, that's it. quite cute with um, with its eyes and tull. I put the sad face. Like, I, I was torn between sad or happy. I think I think happy. Yeah. But we can let the audience decide. Yeah. I just like to play around and experiment. So today we're using the Serotino modeling paste. I did mean to go get some off the shop floor so you could see what it was. Um, I think most of you guys watch normally, so you probably know what it is. Um, it's black and white mixed together. You can see it's probably still a bit marbled where I haven't quite mixed it together properly. I don't know how well that shows up on screen, but it is a little bit, <laughs> a little bit marbled. Um, so I'm gonna go for a gray and I've also got a paler gray. So again, black, black and white mixed together. Um, this one is about half and half, maybe slightly more black than white, but it's, it's roughly 50-50. This one was white with a tiny bit of black. This one actually has a tiny pinch of brown as well, but that's only because this is what I've got left over from my hippo the other day. So I thought I might as well make use out of that one. So I'll just pop that back in the bag because we're gonna start with the body. So. Oh, give it a good knead. Remember, if the Saraceno paste is a little bit hard, you can stick it in the microwave for just maybe five seconds at a time. It's, I mean, it's still firm, but it's, it's not that firm that I need to put it in the microwave now. I had it in the microwave earlier when I was using it the first time around. And I did make notes of my measurements for you all. You may or may not be pleased to know. My body was about 67 grams. So roughly, if you want to make it a similar size, it's too big. Um. It's a very specific amount, isn't it? 67 grams. That actually looks small, but that's more than I need. Let's cut a bit more off. Ah, 70, it's a bit bigger, but that's fine. 70 is absolutely fine. Okay, so I want to try and roll it into a ball to try and get rid of any cracks and creases. So remember, put a bit of pressure on when you're rolling it so that we're getting rid of any cracks and creases. Who saw Tuesday's video? I forgot what I even made. Oh, I made the zebra and the pegasus thing. I was thinking it was the hippo I made last. Oh, I actually made a panda cake in between, didn't I? I forgot about that. I'm just creating a collection of panda... safari animals. Yeah, Maybe I'll do the crocodile next. I, I keep meaning to mix in more cakes than just toppers, so you guys are seeing other things as well as toppers. But I don't know, I mean, do you guys prefer seeing cakes or do you prefer seeing the toppers? The toppers are usually a bit quicker for me to make, but I'm worried you guys will get bored of seeing toppers. I'll run out of animals to make. Right, so we're gonna start with a ball and I'm gonna roll it so it's a little bit more egg shaped. So a little bit thinner at the top than the bottom. It actually looks smaller than that one, but it definitely weighs more. Okay, so yeah, thinner at the top at the bottom is going to have a big tummy and I'm just going to take a little bit of my grey I shouldn't need huge amounts I guess if you want to bulk out his body you can add more of this 
I'm going to add more. I'm going to bulk out his body. You can have a really fat belly. This might be too much, but we'll see. Let's see how much I've got here. Got a couple of people that made the unicorn Pegasus. Oh, so fantastic. Good. Was it easy enough, guys? Let's weigh that. I've got about 26 grams there. It's way more than I had on the last one, so we'll see if it looks the same or not. I have a problem with just doing the same thing, don't I? <laughs> Twice. I have to change something in it every time. Okay, so we'll start with the ball and squash it a little bit. I'm just going to roll that a bit more. It's got a few cracks in. It's got a crack in it at the back. It's not the end of the world. So I'm pressing my ball. Right, this is much bigger than the other one, actually. Never mind. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch it a little bit at the top for like his chest. I'm going to push it down a little bit there. You can use different shaped cutters if you want to create this, but it's easier just to do it by hand. Okay, so I'm going to sit it onto the front of the body here so that we see a little bit of the grey poking out from the top still. And then we press that on to the bottom, giving it a good squeeze. This one's got a massive tummy compared to that last one. So I'm just trying to rub it so that... I think he resembles me. It pushes already. Pushes it down. Can you see against there? Are we on the top camera, Richard? Yes, you are. Okay, cool. It's like a pregnant one. I think they have big bellies anyway, don't they? It's all muscle. Yes. Are we talking about the gorilla, Richard, or your tummy? Both. Thank you. Okay, so let's try and put a bit of a line in. So I'm just going to use my Dresden tool, um, the chubbier end. And I'm going to kind of start here, so fairly close to the top, and we'll bring it sort of around a little bit. And then I'll just go over gently with my finger just to soften that line. In fact, I'm going to go up a little bit more there. Got a couple of questions yes. coming in. Do your hands and fingers ever get sore from all the uh, cakes and modelling work that you do? No, they get sore from washing them. <laughs> um, no, my hands and my hands and fingers don't. Um, weirdly, I've never had bad wrists or elbows either. I know a lot of people complain that when they're um, kneading paste constantly, it gives them really bad um, wrists and elbows and things. I've never, never really had that. But to be fair, I do just kind of give in and go put it in the microwave quite quickly, which makes it a bit easier on my on my arms. Um, Thank you for your stars, people. Oh, thanks, guys. It's very, oh, very big tummy, this one. This one's much bigger tummy than that one, but that's okay. Gonna, uh, I'm happy with it, that. Keep it there. I'm just going to squeeze the body a little bit thinner here, so we've got a bit of height on him. Although I guess the shorter and fatter it is, usually the cuter. It is, it is a similar height, actually, to that one. I've, uh, yeah, I meant to cut my nails, and when I've been smoothing things with my hands, I've just been catching my nails in everything. Okay, so I've played with that enough. Like I say, you guys can play with that much longer than I have done. I have to get it nice and smooth. And the next thing I put on was the legs. I'm going to start with the back legs. And the back legs are actually quite small. It's all, all the bulks on the front arms. So I'm going to use about 5 grams. Oh, that's 11. Maybe split this in half. Yeah, that's even enough. So it's just over, just over 5 in each of them now. And again, let's start with a ball. So remember, always rolling it into the ball, pressing firmly to try and get rid of any creases and cracks. See if this one's a similar size. If I roll them both into balls, I can usually tell if they're a similar size or not. Doesn't always mean that I change them even if they're not, but yep, close enough. Okay, so I'm gonna roll it a little bit in the middle and we're just gonna bend it. So they're not very detailed or shapely legs, these. Okay, and these are going to stick on at either side. In fact, I might stick them outwards slightly. So out here. And I'm going to have to put them like kind of poking out to the side, otherwise you don't see them past the front arms, which are quite big. In fact, I might unbend it just to stick it on. So if I press there on the side, then we'll bend it like that. Okay. It'll look really weird at first, it's fine. I didn't give him a tail, but they don't have tails, do they? No, monkeys don't have tails. Well, you know when you can't think. <laughs> really um, obvious things I can't think of at all when I'm making stuff. 
Okay, so we get that weird kind of shape there. That is very weird shape. I know. It looks like he's a uh, cross between. In fact, I'm going to pull them. He looks a bit spider-like now. Yeah, he does look. He looks weird. So I've angled them ever so slightly, kind of tilting forwards, slightly, not much. Then I want my pale grey again, and I think I put about two grams in each foot. So let's see. This is probably more than two grams. Two and a half. It'll do. Close enough for my, for me. I'll just try and, as long as they're the same size as each other, then that's fine. So again, rolling it into the ball, ready. The grey one feels much, the light, light grey one even feels much firmer than the dark grey one, but I think it's because, like I mixed this colour last week when I was doing the hippo, paste under my finger now, um, and when it's just been in a bag for a while, it, it starts to firm up a little bit. Like it's still usable, it's absolutely fine, it's still soft, but it's harder than the fresher paste. So I've rolled kind of ovals and then I've squashed them down a little bit. In fact, I might even make them just a tiny bit wider. Okay. And I forget, this is an animal where they have paws. All my animals pretty much have paws, don't they? But this one doesn't want a paw. I'm just going to put a little line just slightly up. So not quite in half to the side of half. Um, I'm going to use my craft knife actually. And uh, let's put a cut in. In fact, now let's go a little bit lower. Than that line do the opposite side on this one so can you see it's quite far to the side it's going to give us like a little thumb but i'm going to cut the end off that so it's not quite as long let's do the same on this one can you guys all see it okay mm -hmm. so that my thumb's a bit shorter well, I'm hoping you can. Right. okay it's not actually going to get the right amount of um fingers and toes isn't this one but it's fine i didn't have enough space for four i presume gorillas have the same as us do they? I don't know, they could ask, ask the audience. We, 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 are, we are so bad, we should research what we're, uh, well, I say we should. We should research what we're making, really. I, I start practicing it half an hour before we go online, sometimes an hour. Um, I should not go to the zoo all the time. Well, obviously not at the moment, but usually all the time. I'm going to cut it into three. Can you see up to that little line we put in? Um, the reason I'm not putting on four fingers is, well, not because I don't know if they have four or not, but... Um, I like the look of three on these. It gives me chunkier little fingers. And can you see off feet? Um, just nudging the edges with my finger, just to round it off. So when you've done it, the thumbs should go together like that. So it's kind of mirror images of each other. And I think it goes on the inside. That's where I'm putting mine anyway. <laughs> and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curl that thumb Anyways, I guess it's not a thumb because it's his foot, isn't it? But their feet look like hands, I think. I think they do anyway. So curl that bit in. And then if you want, you can curl the fingers round as well. It's up to you. Or toes. Good fingers or toes. I have to stop calling them hands. They're his feet. Feet. Or her feet. I haven't decided if it's a, if it's a boy or a girl yet. Okay. Then I'm going to put some water on the back. And I'm going to press that onto the front of the leg. Give it a good firm press, otherwise it will just drop off. So you don't have to curl over those toes like I have done. I just thought it looked nicer. Oops. So pressing on here. Again, just watch out that you're not getting your fingernail caught in anything. Okay. Can you see them okay? Yeah. Now it looks even weirder, doesn't it, than it did before. But now we can put on the front arms. So this one, when I made this this morning, I thought, oh god, a gorilla's a bit more complicated than what I normally do. It's going to take me forever. And actually, it, it was fairly quick to do this one. How long do you think it took me earlier? About half an hour? Yeah, but then the, um, like the zebra and the pegasus, that was what, about an hour and a half. Mm. We'll see if I'm quicker today or not. Hopefully you guys don't have anywhere to be or anything else to do today. <laughs> right, I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Sorry, I wrote down for you what my measurements in the other one and then I could just never find them. Where's my front arm? Oh, so it was about 15 grams, I think, in each arm. Because the front ones are much, much bigger. We'll go for 17. I'm trying to just use the amount I've got and divide it in half. 
So about 15 is fine if it's a bit more. Right. Thank you, Karen. Karen has Googled gorillas for us. They have the same digits as us. Oh, do they? Yes. So mine has got the wrong number, but that's fine. We're going cartoony. If I'd have put five, um, four, like actual fingers, they'd have just been really slender. Yeah. <laughs> On this one. We've got, we've got people joining us from all over the world again. Hi it's everyone, nice. thanks for joining us. Oh, someone at the door. It's deliver delivery man. Yeah, Deliveries always come as soon as we're uh, as soon as we're doing Facebook lives. Okay, so again we've rolled out the creases and cracks. So this time when I roll this, I'm going to roll it so it's a little bit thinner at one end than the other because the forearms are fairly big. I think the shoulders are as well, but that's fine. I want it so it just reaches from there to about the kind of the table. I might have to stretch it out a little bit. In fact, I'm just gonna press it a little bit flatter there and my hand will sit underneath that bit there. Just keep holding it in front of it so I can see what it looks like. It's probably gonna cover our actual legs a little bit, but that's fine. Well, let me just take that one off for a second so that I can make this one a similar, similar length. So can you see it looks smaller, but when I kind of press that down, it just widened it, okay? So these will go on there. I'm not going to stick them in place just yet. I want to put my hands on it. But I don't actually know if I've made these ones a little bit on the short side because their arms are really long, aren't they? And I was going to change cameras. Mm, one no, arm looks okay. a little bit longer than the other. Yeah, I've just stretched this one a bit. I mean, Is that the one that looks longer? Yeah. Yeah. Do these arms look big enough? I can always kind of squash them. What's been your favourite animal you've made so far since doing the Facebook lives? Mm. I don't know actually. The cat. The cat? Yeah, okay. the cat. I think the cat. I'm not even really a cat person. I'm really allergic to cats. I've no. told you that many times, haven't I? Um, yeah, I, like, I actually like, the cat was one of my favourite ones. Because normally uh, cats don't turn out brilliantly for me and I think because I tried to keep it more simplified than what I would normally have done, it actually turned out a bit better. But yeah, I think keeping it simple is, is the key, especially for like if they're going on cakes and stuff, because it looks cuter as well. I'm going to use a similar amount in the front hands as the um, back feet. Did I use about 250? Oh, it's ended up as three. That's I should fine. say I was watching, but I am. Um, you paying no attention. Well, I'm always all. watching, but I don't pay attention now. Sorry. As long as we've got the same amount in, it's fine. <laughs> um, so we're going to do the same kind of thing again, but I think quite often they have like their knuckles curled up don't they yes but we can still make the hand the same way they walk on them don't they yeah on their little knuckles i don't think they're very little the knuckles okay, they're probably big, quite big big knuckles let's see i've stabbed it with my fingernail i knew i was gonna do that okay in fact no i'll keep them fairly rounded otherwise that's when i run out of space for fat fingers when i when i make them thin okay i'm not gonna worry about putting that little line in but i'm gonna cut can you see quite far over to the side and then we're going to cut a little bit off the end to make it shorter. That's our thumb. I'll just pick it up and round that off a bit. And like I say, you can spend much longer than I am doing working on these. Because they look a bit sort of box and square like until you've rounded them off. <laughs> can you tell? Do I get quieter when I concentrate? I'd love to say you do, but you don't know. <laughs> right, divide this bit into three. So don't cut that as far down as that bit. Otherwise, that doesn't look like a thumb anymore. They all just look like fingers. So spread them apart. Because I've kept them quite short, they're probably going to be a little bit harder to curl. I'm well, asking people still. I mean, I'm guessing obviously we're still getting a lot of people tuning into the Facebook Live. So people are still enjoying them. People still working from home. Yeah, is I was wondering because I was, I was wondering because obviously certain places people started going back to work now, so I was wondering like if obviously because obviously we do these in the middle, well, our morning, don't we? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, and I apologise because I know quite a few people asked for them on an evening, um, but if I do this in an evening, I actually don't Just get on with anything. Yeah. yeah, I don't get on with anything until after this is kind of done and out the way. So for me, if I did it in the evening, I wouldn't get any work done during the day. Right, I'm trying to curl my little your fingers. Second, I'm going to switch to the camera so you can see what it looks like. You me. could, to be fair, you could just stick his hand out like that if you wanted. But I was just no. trying to. So pulling the thumb out to the side, 
and then I was just trying to curl these. I'm stretching them a little bit to be able to curl them under. Giving them a little pinch. Then what I'm going to do, so remember I haven't stuck these on. <gasps> you pulled his arms. Oh. I didn't stick them on, it's fine. Okay, so that's this one. Let's put a bit of water under there. Or you can put it on the back of the hand if you want, wherever you prefer. I'm going to press that onto there. So I'm pressing fairly firmly. Just down a bit, that's it. When Richard says down, usually he means up and vice versa. He always tells me the opposite right, to down, whatever he wants to me mat, to do. To the map, to the map, that's it, yeah. Perfect, thank you. Okay. And let's see if these look all right or not. Like I say, you can spend much longer on these. They look a bit squarish again, don't they? You can kind of open those up if you want to. I feel like that needs to come out further to the side. Yeah, I'm a bit more happy with that. Like I say, you spend much longer working on your hands, but I'm gonna put water all up inside. Just don't put any on the bottom of the hand, otherwise it'll stick to the table. Is, uh, is Gary going to stay as a gorilla? Are you going to like put wings on him and give him a horn or...? Uh, no, he's just a gorilla. He's just a gorilla and a gorilla. Okay. Yeah, the other one was like a horse though that <laughs> does transform easily into those things. Yeah, but... I what... really want to do a... Um, is it a griffin? No, is it a griffin no. that's like half bird, half... Wait, you've, done a, few, you've done a few like wild animals. You could do a few mythical creatures and those cute toppers. Yeah. There's the next few. Although I think I'd like to do them as more complicated ones. Okay, arms on. So hopefully he's for he's looking a bit wider than that one, but that's fine. Hopefully his forearms look a little bit wider than the tops of the arms. That's what we're after. Um, just give him a tiny bit. He's got wonky boobs, like me. They're called pectorials. Pecs, boobs. Same thing. I'm just going to put a couple of little lines in. Can you see just near the edge? Just so that it looks a little bit furrier. Maybe at like the elbow point. So just a couple, a couple here and there. Do you put any down here? Just be careful of catching the fingers. You could use little scissors actually to snip in as well if you wanted more. I'm just gonna leave it with just a few, I don't want many. Can you see, you don't actually see his back legs very much at all now. And then what I'm gonna do is before we start on the face, I'm just gonna put a stick into the body. Would you say you need a stick as well? Or is this just... Because um, he's quite he's quite dumpy, isn't he? Not like... Um... Yeah, he's fairly dumpy. You could probably get his head to balance, actually, if you had things where you could prop up against yeah. him. It's just a tiny bit longer. I'm going to cut that down. His head might be that high, but I think it, that's likely to just come out the top. I mean, you can always cut this down after you've made the head if you're not sure, but I'm going to cut it down now. Sorry, I just let that flick on the floor. Okay, put the pointy end to the top now. Okay, so the head. So in the last one... I think he's about just short of 70 grams, so it's actually quite a big head. I guess the bigger the head, the cuter they tend to look. I'm gonna have a look, see if that size. That one does still fit. I'm, he's not getting that head though. So you're gonna, you're gonna let people see how you make it then? Uh, I don't think I'm gonna put teeth and tongue in this one. Oh. But he's not gonna have closed eyes, he's gonna have open eyes, this one. Okay. How much did I just say? That was 77 grams, that's quite a bit more. How much is his head weigh? Um, it should be, I think Where it's he weigh head? 66, the last one. Actually, that one I think is slightly heavier than that one. But also this has got the pale grey I did as well, so mm. it'll be more, so it comes to 78 altogether. Yeah, right, yeah. And then he's got, how much did I say this one was? 74. Yes, that might be a bit bigger there. Yeah, it might be. I mean, it won't be huge amounts of grey that we put on. That's fine. Do you know what? If he's got a bigger head, it's fine, because then we can see what it looks like with, with a bigger head. So... I'm just gonna roll the creases and cracks out. This is when I've got bigger pieces, much harder, because I feel like I can't put as much pressure on to need those, um, or to push those creases together. <laughs> Leanne's, hi Leanne, um, how about a flamingo? Hi Leanne, is oh, it Leanne, Leanne? Yeah, Leanne. Leanne, <laughs> Leanne, Leanne. Hi Leanne. Leanne, Leanne likes to challenge me. Yeah, that'll be, I mean, that, Leanne, that's... can the flamingo have no legs? <laughs> yes, yeah, sat down flamingo, there you go. If I can do it without legs, that'd be nice. Um, with this one, I've kind of tried to get a little bit of a point at the top of the head. It wants to be wider at the bottom of its head than do you want at the it? top. That's fine. Can you see it there? Yeah. It's like a teardrop, isn't it? If you want it, you can slot it on and then you can see what it actually looks like. Come on, keep it up. Does it look okay? Okay. And I think I could have even gone for a bigger head. 
I can always squash it a little bit if I want it to be wider, but the only thing is it will be even flatter at the back of the head. See, people have said, please do the tea. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that, should I? No, we say that's the thing if you say, if you say something. I know. Right, okay, I'm just going to put a little dip. Actually, I'm going to use this where I want the eyes to go. So about halfway up the head, I'm going to just put... Can you see, just using a ball and tool. It's just so that when I push the grey in, I can dip the grey into like a space. So it's like a bit of a, a random question. Ball either side and a line in the middle. What, so like the, what is your favourite size boring tool? Because they come in like so many different uh, shapes and I use sizes. this one a lot, but mainly because I do modelling. Yeah. When I'm doing flowers, I sometimes swap. Yeah. So I get... still use this one a lot actually for my flowers. Yeah. Um, some of the metal ones I had started chipping them a bit of varnish off. And then it was getting little metal chips in. It might yeah, just it's just like if people are starting out with it, because if there's that many and it's like... If it's for modelling, this one is what I use the most. Is that the FMM one? That's the FMM one. Um, oh, and like a nice tiny one. I haven't got a tiny one to hand. But that's more if I'm adding tiny little dots, like painting little dots on them. The really tiny ones are good for that. Um, if you're flower making, then sometimes bigger ones are better. But again, yeah. it depends on the flowers. Like if I'm doing a rose... Um, that's fine for my smaller petals. As I start getting bigger petals, usually a bigger ball is yeah. easier, just because because it saves them a bit of time. Right, okay, it's pale grey now. So, just a small amount. I'm just gonna put that back in the bag so it's gonna dry. And you don't have to do grey either. I actually was gonna do black gorilla, but I didn't think black would show up very well for you guys. Or a silver black. Yeah. So again, just kneading it so it's a bit softer. <laughs> I like how Richard giggles at everything. Uh, I don't know if there's somebody, somebody requesting you to make this or they've had a request to make it themselves. Okay. A request for a break dancer balancing a one hand and feet sidewards tapping. Any Who's, ideas? Who's that? I think Deirdre, um, Domin, I'm sorry, Dominican Claudine. I've already, I'm, there were so many things involved, I've forgotten what it was. Uh, I, think, I think she's been asked to make this a uh, request for a breakdown to balance in on one hand with feet sideways tapping. That is, that's a challenge, that one. It is a challenge. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so, in fact, I don't even know how much this was. It'll be about the right size. Let's see how much we've got here. Just short of five grams. So, Deirdre's we rolled... Deirdre is wondering where a Tasmanian devil is. I don't know, know. Deirdre is wondering that. Maybe one day. I need, I need time to sit and develop that, though. Um, kind of little sausage roll it thinner in the middle and then we can squash it so it's a bit wider at either end so it's got like a, a little superhero mask that's what it looks like a little superhero mask you can't even tell can you that I indented the face to be honest you don't have to indent the face um, I'm just trying to press it in a bit more I'm just going to go back over what I did before I wanted like a, a dip here kind of under what would be like the brow because I think the gorillas have fairly deep brows that would look like the frowning depends if you're using like a mono brow like the other one you've got so it doesn't matter actually about being deep here at the sides I could even squeeze that bit down there and there it's a, it's a good um, this bit at the top here somebody asked and mm -hmm. black modeling paste compared to black fonting is it as sticky or is it does it does it leave you black basically when um, you that your hands don't look as bad as when you're using like no, that No, they're fondant. not as bad. Um, when I'm kneading it, so like when I was mixing the grey, um, I put the black and the white in the microwave and because it was so soft, like I had a bit on my hands, but it didn't, it was just the paste. It hadn't stained like the colour yeah. hadn't stained. The colour will still come out of it when it's wet, like black will still leak colour against like water that's dropped on it. Okay. But um, yeah, I don't think it gets as sticky. Sometimes the black that I get in the Saracino is actually quite hard. I can't remember how much I put in the nose. Six grams. I think it was five grams last time, but that's fine. It depends on if you want a bigger or a smaller little nose bit, actually. So we're just going to go with a ball and we're going to squeeze it on. Have I got that in shot for you, Richard? Yeah, you're in shot. So it kind of half overlaps. The first one I did actually, that it was all one piece, but when I looked, it still looked like it was two pieces. So I thought, you know what, it would just be easier to stick it on as two pieces. And what you should really do is put a bit of water on. I haven't. I've had a request. Uh, I Finn, Finn's mentioned about doing a, uh, a warthog. Oh, yeah, warthog's a good idea, Finn. And, um, um, it's just, this shows you uh, my lack of knowledge is that Timona Pumba. Uh, which is which? Is 
Pumba the, I think. I the think. Pumba, I think. It's a long time since I've seen the film actually, but I think Pumba's the warthog. I'm sure. I'm sure we people will let Thank you, Finn, for that idea. That goes with my <laughs> safari theme, doesn't it? It does go with. I think all the animals we've had suggestions for go with. We've had Aardvark, Anteater. Oh, I didn't know we'd had those suggestions. We have. Well, they've just come in now. Oh, okay. I thought Richard just hadn't told me about them. I'm just going to poke some of my holes in. Um, you can keep them rounded or you can make them more oval. I'm going to go a bit more oval. You could do a worm. In fact, I'm going to use the big end. I could do a worm. Yeah, yeah. I could do a worm. The only worm I can think of that's like a bit more detailed is like, is it Earthworm Jim? Oh, that's what I was just going to say, Earthworm Jim. I used to play that when I was a few years younger. This one could have eyelids. Like half closed. Um, yeah, it is pumbu. I like hard marks. Thank you, Jane. I'm going to have like a little zoo by the end of lockdown. Well, that's good. Might be some nice pictures. Okay, so. Yeah, horse with walk of art, the theme is, is it jungle animals? So mm. once a year we have like in Horsforth, which is where we are, they do horse with walk of art and like all the shops and different people and artists and stuff all get involved. Um, but obviously this year it's a bit different because you can't really go into places. But I think they still plan on um, doing things maybe on a YouTube channel, I think they were saying for horse with walk of art. Although I don't know if it's only for schools that get the YouTube channel. I think everyone should get it, I don't know. But anyway, I'm still making my jungle themed things just in case. People are going to be so confused as to what you're just talking about now. Yeah, so like last year it was sea themed for Horse with Walk of Art and we ran a competition, didn't we? Maybe we could do an online competition because then you wouldn't even just have to be in Horse with, would you, to enter it? Whereas last year you had to be in Horse with. Just kind of trying to get two eyes of a similar size. They're probably going to be too big now. Um, but yeah, we put on a, like a big cake in the window display, just a fake cake. Um, last last time it was sea themed, but if I put one in that's jungle themed, if I've got all these animals ready, I can just stick them onto the cake. Sure, it's quite an easy, an easy way, aren't it? Oh yeah, might as well, well use them for something. I've got a big collection the, now. Talking of computer games in Earthworm Jim, what was your favourite childhood computer game? Um, well, I didn't have loads, and I didn't have a Nintendo or a Sega like you did, Richard. We just had like a desktop computer, um, and we had. Is it James Pond? Ah, uh, is that like a goldfish with a gun? Yeah, something like that. Uh, and then a Blues Brothers. And, um, uh, what's it called? Captain Planet. Captain Planet, I like Captain Planet. Somebody mentioned Captain Planet. Captain Planet yeah. Name, but yeah. I was on about Captain Planet actually the other day to somebody. And they didn't have a clue who he was. And it was somebody of my age. And I was like, no, he was a big program on TV, like cartoon, wasn't it, when we were younger? But they didn't know what I was on about. So it's nice that someone else has heard of Captain Planet. Yeah, I think I used to like... Well, I played Earthworm Jim. I've never been a big computer yeah. game player, though. Obviously, Sonic Mario, just because they were the biggest games, I think, when I was younger. Right, he's going to get eyes, so I'm going to go... I should really use black, but I've got grey here, so... Oh, no, I'm going to use yeah. black. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong, I remember that. I on there. that. But is that because it was Sega or something? I'm just going to use some black. Like, yeah, I used to like Ratchet and Clank. See, I never had that either. Yeah. Oops, you made, sorry, I'm sure you made, did you make Ratchet? I made right? the, what's the computer, the robot yeah, yeah. one? Yeah, Ratchet. It's a YouTube video. Yeah, guys, you can get it in smaller tubs than this, by the way, because I get through lots, I tend to use the big tubs. Right, so yeah, yes. Or, um, I do in black, brown, and white and skin tone. I use smaller packs for the other colours. It was just in case I confused anybody then with my big pots. But I save, save the pots. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. Captain Planet, he's here, we're going to take pollution down to yes, zero. Yes, I remember the song. <laughs> I do remember the song. Yeah, he'll be enjoying it now because there's a lot less cars and stuff around on the road. It's probably, you might be winning a little bit at the moment, Captain Planet. He's probably dead. Did he have blue hair or green hair or something? Alex Kidd. I don't know who that is. Well, to fair, that was a, that was the game I think you used to get free in a master system when you got that. It was like ah. pre-embedded into it, I think. And Richard's enjoying this computer talk because he's not paying any attention to what yeah, I'm doing. I'm camera. I've rolled two ovals in black and we've squashed them. <laughs> I've added a tiny bit of water to the eyes and then I'm just going to press these into the eyes. The other one got grey in the middle of its eyes, but I think black stands out a bit better. Well, someone mentioned Spyro. I thought you were going to try and do that as a cake tutorial you want uh, yeah game. um and then um the bait king did a really good one and i thought i didn't want to do it because mine might not be as good and i didn't want him thinking that i copied him <laughs> i'm sure he wouldn't have <laughs> did that anyway but i didn't want him thinking that i copied yeah his was really good that's probably one of my favorite cakes that he's made 
In fact, let's give him a white dot in each eye. So I'm using the edible pen, but you can you can actually use a small ball of white modeling paste. I'm gonna go for the same side in each one. It's to do with you want a small dot or a big dot, you can even add a second one. Let's go for a second one. I'm doing it diagonally across. Um, usually if it's something smaller, I'll use like the pen or even the powders mixed with a bit of dipping solution or clear alcohol. Um, and then if it's bigger eyes, I usually just roll a tiny bit of white, like modeling paste and stick it in there. Maybe I'm going to ruin him with eyelids. I don't know. Let's so see. There's something like Space Invaders. I've just seen Jodie Mansion. I used to love Space Invaders. Lemmings. Oh, wow. Yeah, Lemmings. I mean, I always to make a funny little noise when they jumped off the cliff because mine jumped off the cliff because I wasn't very good at that game. So mine died a lot. <laughs> Tiny ball of the pale grey and we're going to flatten it down. I could have even mixed a slightly different grey actually for the eyelids, couldn't I? No, I'm too lazy. What about, um, do you remember when your mobile phones first came about and used to get the old school Nokias with Snake on it, was it? I don't know if you can still get that game anymore. I don't know. Do you not remember playing Snake on? Uh, vaguely. Yeah, when I was... first got a mobile phone it was for emergency use only. Okay. Whereas now it's for Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, I'd be stuck without my mobile now. I'm on it all the time. Do you want to just move it up to me a bit, the head? Okay, so I've stuck the... Can you see we squashed the ball, cut it into two little semicircles. I'm just trying to nudge it around the top of my eye. I didn't want it to come too far down because I didn't want him looking ultra sleepy. So I'm just trying to squish it slightly narrower. And just put it on there. He looks really cute. Uh, at this stage, he actually doesn't look too bad, does he? I'll probably do something to change that and ruin it. He's <laughs> so critical of her own way. Well, sometimes, I'm sure you guys are all the same. Sometimes you're thinking, oh my god, it's awful, and at the end it comes together, and then sometimes it looks okay, and I'm like, but I'll just try one more thing on it, and I'll just add another thing, and, then, and one more thing, and by the time I've finished, I have ruined it. I'm actually going to just see if I can pull out a couple of tiny bits from the side of the yeah, face. To me a bit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, because I was going to say, because this guy, you've not, you could pull out, would, would you would you ever pull out a lot of his hair on it all? Or would you try and leave him a little bit smooth? Uh, because it's just basic, I'd leave it mainly smooth. Yeah. Otherwise, it'd just be ages putting tons of hair on. I'm going to give him some hair on his um, top of his head now. This one, can you see his head's much wider? Actually, is it wider? Camera. I think it's just bigger. What's your arm? Your arm. That's Which arm? The one holding the camera. It's just a bit bigger, I think. Yeah. Okay, so the top of his nose, we want a bit of the pale grey again. Actually, I've got a tiny bit there. This is probably enough. So just a tiny pinch. And is that in shot for you to see? I'm going to put a little bit of water up near the top of his like, muzzle. Jane's asked what pens we've been using. It's the fractal pens. It's the fractal one. I actually used it, you know, on the closed eye one, but I used the black one to draw like the lines on the closed eye. And um, we do have them in stock, Jane. Yeah. Um, I'm going to roll a tiny little sausage shape, and I'm going to stick that onto the top of the nose there like that. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. I was holding it's it up to the camera. Right. Well, okay. the camera. Go on, um, right. Keep it there. Again to that. Da, da, da. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Then I'm going to use... I don't think I'm making from a above. director. Now, Richard's like, turn it this way and he's pointing in all kinds of different directions. If you could see him, you'd be like, what on earth are you doing, Richard? Um, this sometimes comes off, so try and hold it with your finger, and then if you can, just n push a little nostril in at each side. So don't put them too close together. Just a little nostril each side. Just watch you don't. Push into me a bit. You see, just there yeah, and there. Perfect. Keep catching my finger in there. In him. I think this one, I've made the grey come out a lot further than on the other one. I think I preferred it where the grey didn't come out quite as far. But it's fine. Okay, so mouth. Remember those teeth? <sighs> I want to do him a big smile. Hmm. If you press lightly, it means you can kind of change it a little bit. I want to do him with a little closed smile. I'm going lower down. So with the one that was upset, I don't know if you can see it from there, I did it quite high up. Whereas when I'm doing it smiling, I'm doing it, can you see, lower down. Yeah, just tilt him up to the camera a bit. Which one? Top one. Just get a little bit easier because you guys your see hand, that your hand gets in the way with the other one. Maybe I could have even gone further down, couldn't I? Yeah, you could even turn it round and use this end to just nudge in at either side a little bit there. I don't know, what do you think? Um, let's give him a bit of blush. I'm gonna go a very <laughs> tiny, <laughs> tiny bit. I didn't, I wasn't going to, but I'm gonna. 
What colour is this one? This one's claret. Is it claret? It's quite a... This one has been next to me for a while, so that's why I just keep using this one. But just the job, so it's fine. So I put a tiny bit on and I keep dabbing the extra off in the lid because I don't want too much on. Sometimes I just wipe it on my hand just to check how much is on my brush. And then on this one, I'm going to put a little bit just below each eye. So not on the nose, but on here. Maybe even a tiny bit on his tummy. Tiny, tiny bit, not too much. I could actually put a tiny bit on the top of his nose. Or her nose. It looks like a he there, doesn't it? There's not much on there. You can't really tell too much, can you? Let me just put the lid on this, otherwise I will knock it off. Knock it over even. Okay. Does he want eyebrows or not? If I put it here, can you still see it? Okay. Before you stick it on as well. Just to watch the camera a little bit. Can you see this? Yeah. Just check by holding the head against there that that's not going to come out above the top. Once you're happy it's not, put a bit of water around there and then we're going to slide the head on. Uh, I've gone fairly close to the back of the head with this one. I feel like he does need a little line on the bottom of the eyelashes. And let's give him a little flick at the top here. So let's put some individual pieces of hair up here. So I'm going to put a little bit of water on there. And then let's roll tiny pieces, just the point on either end. And let's stick it on there, kind of curving it upwards. Two or three should be okay, actually, I think, for this. I'm gonna add one more, just in front of that. It doesn't look as hairy on the face, this one. I think it's because I made this so wide here that you can't see the flicks of hair out of the side. Whereas on the others, this gray bit is actually much narrower. So you can see every time I do it, it turns out different. Not always on purpose. I mean, what's the fun in creating the same thing time and time again? Yeah, apart from when you actually want to. <laughs> um, let's have a look at his little monobrow if he wants some monobrow or eyebrows, because it does make quite a big difference to what they look like. <laughs> in fact, let's start with the whole piece. So. So which bit are we doing now? Eyebrows. He might or might not get eyebrows, I don't know. So if you want in like the big monobrow, just roll like a big kind of snake shape and just follow the the top of the face there. Oh we can cut it in half and have two. These are probably quite big, these eyebrows. I think if we're having separate eyebrows, we should go smaller. They are big eyebrows. Yep. I'm going to go for smaller ones. And that, do you know what? He doesn't even need a, a, um, eyebrows. I haven't given any of my other animals eyebrows, but sometimes, sometimes I quite like them. Do you know, I'll just say it's really nice. Um, Rebecca has said, obviously, what she, you regulate the last few weeks has improved her cake work. Oh, that's good. That's nice to know. It's nice to know that we're helping. Well, you're helping. Well, I can't. I'm probably more of a hindrance. I couldn't do it without Richard because I can't work the camera. <laughs> I can't work the camera at all. I don't know, what do we think? Eyebrows or no eyebrows, guys? Does it look better without eyebrows? Yeah, if we wait 25 seconds, I will tell you what people say. I'm just going to draw a little line on the end of the eyelash, uh, eyelid even. You can see I have not I got a steady hand. That. You can't see it. Well, no, just because the angles. It's, where do you yeah, want me to yeah, put yeah. it? So if you do it where you were, then, yeah, that's it. Can you see I do not have a steady hand? At all. I'm just being too lazy to get um, paste out of the bag. Actually, I've got a tiny bit of paste there. I'm just being lazy. It looks alright though, doesn't it? Does it show? Yeah. Does it look better with that line on than without? Yeah. Well, like... you've got to go with the line now, seeing as you've got one on yeah. one side. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is where my hand's probably in shot anyway, so you probably won't be able to see what I'm doing on this other one. But I'm literally just drawing on the edge of the grey bit. There we go. I feel like he needs freckles. But I know, they don't have freckles. Down, we've got we've got a few without with I think I think no eyebrows at the moment. Okay, is let's take them out. But yeah, I mean, with eyebrows, you see, you can play around with the expression so much. So. And the joy that you haven't drawn the eyebrows on is you can just remove them. Yeah. So like, if I have them upwards like that, it's a completely different expression to. If we have them, okay, this is extreme. <laughs> but if we have them downwards like that, it really makes a difference. Turn that frown upside down. Oops, let's just take them off. Uh, but yeah, you can play around with that. I 
think it's everything on him. He just looks different because... So I think the body weights were pretty much the same, but I added more of that grey. So look how much bigger he looks, though. He's got That's bigger massive. head as well. Um, so Good. the belly is much bigger. that way a little bit. Which way this way? That's it, perfect. Um, yeah, so I put more of the light grey on to make his belly stick out a little bit more. But then the weights were roughly the same. But with this bit, can you see this is much, much wider. I mean, he's got a slightly bigger head, but he's got a bigger body. The grey here comes out much wider, whereas I kept it much smaller. I think I actually prefer it smaller. But I don't think I'll be able to change that now. Or maybe nudge it in a tiny bit. You could just switch his heads. I could just switch his heads, but I think that head would be too small. Let's see. Oops, that comes out with it. Yeah, so if you're not sure, you could make... And you only want to make one gorilla. You can make one gorilla, but loads of different heads. Could make that Tell to stop motion thing. Yeah, that looks a bit funny. Is that because his head's smaller? <laughs> I think so, yeah. I think your other head's better. Oops, that stick wants to keep coming back out with it. But because they're fairly dumpy, I've not had to make them in polystyrene. Like some figures, I have to anchor them into polystyrene to be able to hold them together. These ones, because yeah, they're all size, fairly dumpy. Size. I don't have to. I've put them on fairly straight. Like this one looks like he's looking upwards. Um, oh, that's my tummy rumbling. Did you hear it? I did. I thought it was fine, baby. That's my tummy. <laughs> You're making a funny, weird noise at me. Um, What's this bit breakfast was today, pushed but... further up. I have. have well, I had a yogurt drink. And some Harry Bear. Well, I only had a couple of Harry Bear. That's because purple cupcakes always send me a bag of sweets in the order that I make with them. Mm. But I didn't know all of them, and they were a tiny pack. But yeah, so that's that's the video done today. How long was I? Less than an hour. 51 minutes, which is pretty good. Which face do you all prefer? Just put the face, that one down on the floor. I mean, on the... On the, on the floor? Put the that one there. Maybe you won't see it if it's down. You can leave, balance it against them. I might squash them. Can you all see that? Which one do you prefer? Angry? Teeth? I know you're all going to say teeth because I didn't show you teeth. And the quietly happy one. That's a bit dopey looking. <laughs> Too many choices. Yeah, and then what did we say we were making next time? Uh, we said it looks a little bit like E.T. It does look a bit like E.T. <laughs> just the look I was going for, but yeah, it just e like e that. E.T. may have been based on a grilly, so you never know. I'm going to say probably not, but maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, you've got a lot of people there saying teeth, 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 <laughs> teeth, middle um, face. I do I do another one another day then with uh, with teeth. Another animal that's got the same kind of kind of face. But you can see like, how easy that would be to change the colour and make it look more monkey-like and less gorilla. I mean, the thing that makes it gorilla-like, I guess, is we've gone for dark grey or you could go for black, but also like the massive forearms. Whereas if you're doing a normal monkey, everything would just be much thinner and probably most in cartoony ones are always brown aren't they so, yeah, yeah well, in, i mean they're not in real life are they but in like cartoony you ones like orange, you got orange, you got yeah oh yeah you could do there you go. yeah that would look really good as it would could put longer hair in that for an orangutan i feel like i need to make an orangutan now not right now though guys i don't mean like this second <laughs> um but yeah that's that's it for today. Thank you again to everybody that's been buying our um, basic figure making class. And it's been really nice to see what you've all been making. They're really good. I'm very impressed with you all. Um, if there's anybody that's bought it that is still struggling to get onto the group, just send us a private message and we can sort that out for you. Um, or if you're struggling to find where the videos are when you're in the group, they're in the units on there. But again, if you still can't find it, just send us a private message. Um, thank you everyone for joining us wherever you are in the world. Um, and hopefully we will see you on Tuesday, 10.30 again. Um, I don't know what day it is on Tuesday, but next Tuesday. As long as you don't all have to go to work. <laughs> but thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. What? Oh, and thank you ever so much for the stars. Richard's always friending that me because I forgot to say. I appreciate it all means everything. I know we do, I just forgot to say it. Thank you for all the stars, everyone. <laughs>